Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for returning for another segment of Health Professional Radio. We'll be speaking with Wenxin Fan this morning, CEO and co-founder of Spectral AI. Spectral AI is a company that's using AI to revolutionize diagnostics and wound care. He's joining us to talk about the recently awarded Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, or BARTA, Project BioShield contract. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Wenxin Fan. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for having me. CEO and co-founder of Spectral AI. Give us a brief look into your professional background and talk about how Spectral AI has been innovating in the healthcare sector with its predictive AI imaging technology. All right. As a early inventor for speech recognition, I was getting into both the AI and the signal processing back into the late 90s. And in the early 2000s, I was fortunate enough to use an imaging for uh, self-driving cars. And combining both of those technologies in AI and advanced imaging technologies, uh, we built Special AI, Special MD, the previous company known as, uh, back into 2010, with an initial focus on pressure ulcer, because it was a very, very uh, severe problem throughout the U.S. hospital systems, and the CMS put out a financial fine to the hospital's if a patient develops the pressure ulcer during the stay. Along with the journey, we actually, uh, fortunately, we got the National Science Foundation grants and other federal grants to help us to do the 4D, which is a 3D plus time imaging for skin tissues. Along the way, we built this company called Special AI, which is a Dallas-based predictive AI company. We focus on using medical uh, diagnostics for the AI technology for faster and more accurate treatment decisions in wound care. And with our initial applications involving patients with burns and diabetic foot ulcers, along with other uh, wound care indications. If I'm understanding correctly, it was basically bed sores that inspired spectral AI? Yes. yes. In the beginning, we started with bed sores, and in 2013, we were already able to predict a bed sore uh, to come to the surface two weeks before it uh, 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 manifests itself. Mm. And that technology was quickly realized and captured by the U.S. federal government, BARDA, as you uh, referred to, as a great potential technology to detect, to assess whether a wound bed is truly ready for debridement, particularly in the case of burns. Because remember, back into 9-11, when the Twin Tower fell, it killed over 3,000 Americans right away. If the Twin Tower didn't fell, we have over 3,000 burn victims on our hand, and our country is not ready for that. Mm. So to have a technology, just like the quick COVID test kit, and we know how that is important to help save the healthcare resources, uh, we need some technology uh, that will be help the triage of the burn patients in case of mass casualty, that's why BARDA, the U.S. federal agency, actually invested in the inspector since 2013 with a contract to assess a burn wound immediately, whether it's going to be healing or non-healing, mm. because a non-healing burn will need a clinical surgery uh, interventions. It's my understanding that your deep view snapshot wound imaging system is dealing with this critical need. Explain to our listeners how it actually works. What are the indications? How does it benefit both the patients and the healthcare providers who are using it? The deep view is actually a proprietary, organically uh, invented imaging platform which can see the light from the near UV light across the visible band all the way into the near IR light. Because back into 2014, we already realized that even though there are many imaging products in the wound care business already, but none of them is actually offering a meaningful clinical outcome. They do wonderful measurements of a single physiology evaluation. However, wound healing uh, prediction and assessment is very complicated. It takes more than uh, one or two of those physiology signals to make that determination. Therefore, we actually invented this multi-spectral imaging platform that could enclose all of the wavelengths 
And by uh, when we actually get all the imaging data, we realize the human brain, the physician's ability is not enough. That's why back into 2014, we already started using AI to actually make that healing or non-healing assessment. Nowadays, we will already grow our database to over 263 billion clinical uh, points and fast-growing database as well. And now we're focusing not only in burn indication, but also ventured into diabetic foot ulcer indications because diabetic foot ulcer DF use is a growing worldwide problem. And with the $11 billion total addressable market in, by 2028, and that's what we're working on, both the burn indication for the U.S. garment as well as the diabetic foot ulcer indication for the civilians. And uh, we are also trying to develop the venous like ulcer, pressure ulcer, continuing that, but more also into the digital guided therapies so that we can provide all the wound care products, uh, the much needed assessment on whether the wound bed is ready for their skin substitute or other dressing and kind of a product. Obviously, this is going to be used in emergency departments, trauma centers, burn centers. You recently announced that you're adding seven new clinical sites for the application of the deep view system to diabetic foot ulcer wound healing as well. With the addition of these sites, what are the clinical development plans for Spectral AI? Our goals for uh, the uh, clinical development plan from this standpoint is to ensure we actually cover a wide range of patients in our AI training and validation so that our DFU AI can be generalized much better for our target DFU population. And like you said, Neil, this additional clinical sites will also enhance our access to the real-world clinical locations that can be used post-regulatory clearance to perform clinical outcome studies, focusing on basically collecting the real-world evidence demonstrating improved clinical outcomes and cost savings using our technology. This additional site, just like our burn uh, study will be performed at t- over 20 sites throughout the country. The goal is actually generalize our studies so they cover all the population much better, make our AI model as robust as possible. Uh, we also establish our clinical pathway towards a commercialization. The company also recently received FDA and UKC certifications. What is the significance and briefly the next steps for the company after these certifications? Well, we're very pleased with our incremental regulatory developments, both in UK and US. Incremental because we actually have the UK mark, UKCA marking and class one medical device classification from the FDA for our deep view snapshot wound imaging system. That is an imaging platform, a common machine that will be used both in the emergency rooms, burn care centers, uh, as well as wound care clinics, a podiatrist's office for all of our uh, uh, clinical indications. That is a common uh, hardware platform, imaging platform. On top of it, we'll have the AI burn, AI DFU, AI 3D wound size measurement, and also uh, the AI digital guided therapy, all those uh, indications. This is a first foundation to get our DVU snapshot, the imaging system cleared. And now we're focusing on building our AI driven software apps that will be released one after another, both for UKCA as well as FDA and the, uh, the CE mark. And that is the focus of the company right now. The unpredictability of the severe burn injuries as well as the diabetic foot ulcer uh, healing potentials these are growing and the critical problem around the world. We really believe Special AI's DPU platform will allow healthcare providers to make more accurate, timely, and inform the decisions regarding the treatment of this wound. Give us a website where our listeners can learn more, if you would, please. Absolutely. It's www.spectral-ai.com. I would love for people to 
jump on our website and read more into the CPU AI technologies. Wen Sheng, I am so appreciative of your time this morning. Thank you so much, and I'm hoping that、uh, you'll return for another conversation. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for having us. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Wen Sheng Fan. Audio copies of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au, also at youtube.com/healthprofessionalradio. 